Hey everyone, welcome back to Wimby Studio, and today I am back with, I I promised at the beginning when I started this YouTube channel back up again, you know how I said back to basics, hashtag back to basics, we're doing book reviews, and I know that I haven't really focused on that lately, I've been focusing more on a lot of um uh, different stuff, honestly, um, so I am here doing another book review. And as you can actually see from the thumbnail, it's the cover of the book, Me and Miranda Molay. Okay, so before I even go in, dive in through the book, I'm just going to read the back. So, let's see. Starring Sam the Class Clown, known for pranking unsuspecting classmates inciting toilet paper revolts, creating blah, 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 blah displays, in, displays in science, and he cannot stop thinking about Miranda Molay. Duke. Credits include earning top billing in most school musicals. Would rather be reading The New Yorker in a quiet corner of the library. An object of desire is Miranda Molay. Uh, Charlie, the athlete. Best at coming up with sport med sports metaphors, noticing the little things following his older brother's advice. Would rather be playing ba basketball is sweet on Miranda Molay. So the whole point of this, all three guys are going after Miranda Molay. If that's how you say her last name, it's kind of an unusual last name. So the whole point, this book revolves around all these three guys going after Miranda. And I can even read a little sneak peek of it, honestly. So like, it it starts out with Sam. I'll read like the first little part. So from Sam's point of view, it says, until today, Miranda Molay isn't a girl I think about a lot, but she really gets my attention when she turns to me and hands me the, my thumbtack. I mean, she really gets my attention. It all starts when I'm sitting in biology class, minding my own business, and do my best to mentally prepare for the long semester ahead. Even though it's only January 4th, Christmas and New Year's seem like years ago. That's what school does to you. It kind of freezes time. It, if, it, it, kind, of, it kind of freezes time, yeah. It's only the first period of the first day, and already I feel like I've been stuck here forever. As I'm sitting there, I'm thinking about the new me. You see, I finally decided to turn over a new leaf and pull all my clowning around behind me. After all, I can't pull pranks my whole life, and my Christmas gift to my mom was a promise to clean up my act. If you think about this, this was a great gift because it made my mom very happy and did not cost me a penny. So, let's see. I mean, I'm so serious about all of this, I didn't make my usual stop to see the boys in the cafeteria. Imagine me, Sam Dolan, being the first person in class. So... Now, I'll just move on to Duke's little portion. I'm man enough to admit it. I owe my parents, Neil and Cassandra, a sincere apology. They have been regaling me since birth with the story of how they first met. Allegedly, it was a love at first sight when they met and fell for each other as undergrads at Duke University, where they both studied sociology. They fell in love and have never been apart. I often gag when I hear them tell the story. But as of today, I believe in love at first sight. Today, I fell in love with Miranda Molay, and she if I'm not terribly mistaken, fell in love with me. How do I know? Because this morning in biology class, Miranda stuck out her arm to keep me from sitting on a thumbtack placed on that seat by Sam Dolan. And not only did Miranda save me from the embarrassment of sitting on the tack, she saved Sam Dolan's life as well. If I had sat on the tack, I would probably have smacked Sam Dolan's empty head with my textbook. And I would have been doing everyone a favor because Sam Dolan fancies himself with some sort of hilarious class clown and he thinks it's his duty to entertain the school with moronic exploits, like a thumbtack on a real student's chair. Okay, and then Charlie. Once I realize Duke isn't going to punch Sam Dolan in the nose, I get back to looking through my notebook for all those fancy vocabulary words Mr. Minkin is always making us learn. The reason I'm looking for all the fancy words is because my brother Billy is returning home tonight and I need to tell him all about Miranda Molay. Is this making sense? If it's not making sense, then this might help. I'm sitting in class and watching Miranda Molay because I don't exactly know what to say to her, so I'm thinking I can get Billy's help because Billy knows all there is to know about girls. So... I got this book for, like, Christmas last year and um, read the whole book through. It's a drama book. There's actually an inside cover right here I'll read. I, I know it's a lot of reading stuff, but it's what I, how I like to organize my reviews. So it says right here, The fates of three eighth-grade boys converge. In biology, class one day, as each falls desperately in love with the same girl, there's Sam the class clown, Duke the intellectual, and Charlie the athlete. In the object of their collective affection, the in, 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 in a genetic 
Miranda Mole, the girl who smiles like she means it, the girl who makes Christmas truly magic when she sings, the girl who barely re realizes her admirers exist. But nothing will stop the guys from doing everything they can to get the girl, not even their inevitable confrontation. Told in alternating perspectives, me and Miranda Mole is a comedy of errors where small misunderstandings lead to big laughs. And beneath the humor, every attempt to win Miranda's favor becomes a compelling look at the larger world of each guy's life. So, that happened. And honestly, this book was a very good book. You're going to see me doing a lot of book reviews lately coming up, and I'm going to have my own style of grading them. I'm just going to grade them by letter grades. So, honestly, so the first book review I did this year was the Max Crumley book series. I already gave my grade on that. Me and Miranda Mole. I would say it deserves around an A minus, B plus around there. It's that perfect drama, three guys going up to the same girl. They're all totally different from each other. Class clown, very smart to the athlete. Those are like, I don't know, you line them up next to each other and they just look totally different from each other. It's very, very weird. So, like I said in my first video, the Max Crumley book series review, where I was getting back into basics, I was just, my goal was to get back into book reviews, and you're going to see a lot more of that coming up in the next months. I'm going to try to do a book review every other week is my plan. I mean, because Mondays, typically, the other Monday will probably be some sort of movie review. There is definitely some movies I want to watch coming up. Um, so, yeah, I'm, um, I like doing book reviews. It's what my channel was uh, based on when I first started, and then it went crazy. But now I'm getting back into book reviews. You're going to see a lot more of those coming up. And I'm really excited because book reviews are just one of my favorite things to do because I enjoy it and I want to do the things that I enjoy. And I know that you guys like when I do book reviews as well because of that Darwin Begin the Getaway video that got 6.2K views. So, yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching the movie studio. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday and bye.